It's Sarah McLeod with brand new solo stuff. First play on Red FM, by the way. It's called Giants. Now, we all know Sarah from all the awesome Super Jesus stuff. Stuff like Gravity from the year 2000. And, of course, they just popped up last year with a brand new song, Love and Violence. Sarah McLeod is joining us on the show right now. How are you feeling? Hi. You good? Where are you at the moment? Me, I'm at home. I am I'm just gearing up to go on tour, so I'm practicing every day and, you know, <laughs> best as possible. How's that going for you? Ah, uh, you know, everything's got its shortcomings, but it's the <laughs> it's the thought that counts. Bloody oath. So you're pumped about this solo tour? Oh, I, I've never been pumped about a tour as much as I'm pumped about this tour because it's a completely different thing that I've never attempted before. So, I mean, I've been touring for... I don't know, 20 years. <laughs> for a very long time. And uh, this show that I'm doing is completely different to anything I've ever done. So that's why I'm excited, because I feel like it's the first time I've ever played live. I'm a bit nervous, actually. This is a bit of a change of sound for you. Music-wise, you've just been in New York writing this new LP? Yep, I wrote the whole record in three months. I had this bee in my bonnet that if I was going to make a solo album, then I wanted to do it from beginning to end, non-stop, without anybody talking to me or interfering away from everybody, and just sit there and start it and create it as one body of work and don't stop until it's done. So I um, I decided to go in the middle of winter and I bunkered in at a place in Williamsburg in Brooklyn and I bought my whole studio over there and I, I set it all up and I, I wrote the whole record and it was a very, very cool experience. I, I wrote a book about it as well. Oh, wow. It's coming out soon. Hey, watching the uh, live video of Giants, I found it on YouTube there. Um, it's you and a, a drummer. Is that kind of like a, I guess, a shift in sound for you where you're going for more of a, like a white stripe sort of stripped back feel? Oh, yeah. See, this is what I'm telling you about how why I'm nervous. The, the show that we've put together, um, I didn't record the album on this. I recorded the album as a bass player played and I played the guitars and the drummer played. And, but for the live show, I've rewritten it all so that it works as a duo. So he's playing drums, and I've rigged up this um, new apparatus where I'm playing bass and guitar at the same time. So uh, I've rewritten all the songs so that I can incorporate, like, the guitar riffs and the bass lines um, with these sort of weird tunings, and I, I made these special guitars to do it. And it's, it's, it's so much. I'm doing so much at once. It's ridiculous, but... Um, it's just it's just repetition. If I just practice it every day, then I'm starting to get to a point where I can do it sort of without thinking too much. Oh, well, Sarah, we cannot wait to see your show. It's going to be epic, and we can't wait to see how this whole fandangled, rigged-up, guitar strappy thing is going to work. <laughs> <laughs> That's my We're muso language. using the word strappy. <laughs> <laughs> I think I might get the wrong idea. Love it, Sarah. Can't wait to hear new stuff. Great. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you talking to me this morning. Hope